Hello and welcome to Tax TV, Neil is here. I've got Andy on and I've also got Daniel on. Uh, some very good con comments and content from both uh, when I've both had you on and we've had some good uh, some good feedback as well from it as well. So we'll uh, we'll get talking about a, a bit of a mixed bag really and uh, going into Cambridge game. So yeah, Port Bale, Andy. Um, some people said were two points dropped. Uh, some yeah. said were unlucky. Members like on about referee situation as well. So, what were your take on game, Andy? Um, well, after the game, when I was coming out, it felt like a loss to me. Um, I, I definitely think it was two points dropped. Um, mm. It's to be old habits coming back. Um, I know it's just like one game and we are going to get games like that in that league. But, uh, yeah, it was just frustrating. Um, especially, again, um, in key area up front. Um, we, don't, we don't seem to gamble enough for me. Uh, we're always passing sideways and, like, you know, somebody gets ball, it's like, I'm scared to death of having a shot, you have it. And it's it's like an hot potato sometimes, mm. uh, ball. Um, yeah, just frustrated. And, yeah, it, it, it just seemed like a loss to me. Uh, we, we, should have, uh, we should have put that game to bed ages ago. Well, I think so, anyway. Um I mean, I don't think it will give him full of quality, if I'm honest, mm. but uh, I don't think, uh, you know, the chances we had, um, yeah, it should have been out of sight, really. And their goal, I think, was very, very avoidable. Yeah. Mm. Just just going on from that, Daniel, uh, it's something like a loss, you know, two points dropped. And again, should we have been a bit more clinical up front with chances what we had? Uh, you know, that's another talking point and all, isn't it? Yeah, and I think the I think the big I think the issue was for me. I mean, even when we came out in the, we, we, I mean, let's start with the positives. I think we started. I think we started up to about probably all the way up to about fifty minutes. We started really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, you could tell that the way Port Vale was set out in the early stages. That that I th well, it didn't end this way. But I thought they were set out like looking for a draw, trying to hit us on the counter attack. They weren't getting yeah. those breaks on the ball. We read the game quite well, I would say, in the first half. Um, we knew that we needed to bring more options up front and making like make, taking more risks um, of um, or, 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 or more risks in, in the sense of getting more runners into the box, trying to give the defence something to think about. I think that's how Kitchen got his goal, uh, which is really which is really positive for him. I thought he played quite well. Mm -hmm. um, but then after 50 minutes, I, you know, I, I agree with Andy. It was like we, it's like we were fearful of dropping a point, uh, or dropping two points, and we thought sit back on a one nil lead. Mm -hmm. Again, that has not served us. It's not served as well. We changed tactics, and the and the issue was it gave Port Vale a lot more space on the it gave them a lot more space on the ball, a lot more time to pick out the passes. And the big problem with that was. Is that I think we underestimated their quality, um, and you know when the you could tell that after that they were getting chances in, and it was yeah. it felt like it was only a matter of time. It, I, um, and then the and when they did get their goal, we found it very difficult to put ourselves back into the shape of which we were when we started the game, which mm. was an attacking formation, winning the ball back, high pressing. And you could tell. I think Port Vale thought we've still got time to go and get, go and win this game. Yeah. Um, and I think after the Josh Martin, uh, Josh Martin had a uh, had a chance. Hmm. Well, not a chance. I would say a, a shot from the edge of the box. Hmm. We could tell that. Um, they, they, I think they. I think they had two more chances just before the end of the game that could have easily, if luck were on their side, have dropped into the back of net. So. Yeah, it's two points dropped, and but I think the big the big talking point out of the game was that tactical change and mm -hmm. how we are not show still showing that positivity when we one nil up and trying to really um, trying to really give it to them and finish the game off. I think positive for me is it's like what you both like said, and I, I, you know I kind of agree with it as well is that. I think positive for me was seeing that the amount of times I think uh, Kitchen's got his, his position sorted out. I think he's getting forward well. Mm -hmm. And it's ironic that you can you can kind of see what Duff and his team are trying to work on because 
One goal was created by a wing back, and other wing back scored it. But you know, great but crossing by Williams, and other wing back comes in. Mm. I think the tactics. Well, I wouldn't punch in, and when Cole got subbed off, you could tell they were frustrated and he wanted to stay on. And I think as soon as that happened, H, I think Thomas Aitchison and uh, Cole, when they went off, we lost his pressing, his I, you know, his tempo running into channels. That sent to go. That sent to go. That and yeah. like you said, it's it affected in a way is that we, ne- we never had that. You're not going to get that. No one's going to run as best he can and buy a foul and he's not a, an H and we'll run into channels or he'll, he'll go high press. And again, Thomas, but some of what came on, they didn't do what, you know, Marty came on and yeah, he had a, 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 an effort tipped over. Fair enough. But I think we always need that second goal. And, yeah. you know, for me, I thought we we, we were actually done to. Uh, there were a few penalty shouts from this overweight referee, and I could do another program about. I don't want to make program about mm-hmm. referee, but we could see what what we were trying to play. Some of the decisions were questionable. It was like, what are you blowing for? I don't think even players knew way at the time what we we're playing for. Yeah. No one got booked when we were taking the throw in and yellow card before we even come on pitch. Just poor, poor standards referees, and for me. We've, I've a tech positive from it is that we haven't lost, but again, we're going to Cambridge game. We'll get on to kind of Cambridge game now. You look at them, I think they're six in table, so we've got off to a decent start and all Cambridge. Mm-hmm. And Andy, we're going to Cambridge. I think it's first time in like, is it 30 years or summer? Yeah. So it's going to be a tricky game away, but isn't it? Uh, well, I'll be honest, uh, I forgot all about Cambridge. Um, <laughs> If going back to our, our summer at Oakwell, I can tell you that. Um, but yeah, um, sixth league, aren't they? It's going to be, it's going to be tough. And there's no easy games, is uh, is in this league. Um, uh, but I mean, I said on one of my, my videos the other day. Um, sometimes playing away, um, you know, it sometimes pressures off, really, isn't it? Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes players playing express the sense. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be easy. I'd, I'd like to see a change up front. Um, to be honest, tomorrow um, we'll get on about that in a minute. Then when I get on about predicting, because yeah. I've got some graphics up, so we'll get on about that. <laughs> right. So yeah, uh, so yeah, just going off what Andy said there, Daniel. Then I mean, obviously we're going to be going away, and you know we've got off to a, a decent start in League One. The sends. Do you think that, like what Andy said there, the pressure's off? And it's going to suit us. We're taking over a thousand plus via. But do you think we'll approach this thinking, you know, like we did against Ipswich, we've, we've, we can express things a bit more and pressures on to the Cambridge Cambridge United. Well, I, th- I think from what I mean, in, in all honesty, and this is absolutely no disrespect towards Cambridge United, they've kind of gone on the radar under the radar this mm. uh, so far this season. Away, away from home, I would have felt a lot more confident if we were playing them at Oakwell. At the moment, they sit second in the home form table. Yeah, um, they're the scoring. Uh, the, the the only the only thing that I would say uh, is good is that they are conceding goals. Um, they are conceding goals, but they also are scoring them, which I, I think we can have a little bit. I think the one thing that's quite good is that Anderson has got um, Anderson is doing quite well in dealing with in dealing those in, in dealing with those threats. Um, the only nervousness I would think about is if Robbie Cundy were playing because I don't think I, he looks a little bit nervous to me. Still, it looks like he's still trying to find his feet. Um, but yeah, um, so I, the it's not going to be an easy game. I, mm. I, I th- I'm go- I'm going to Cambridge. I'm going to Cambridge tomorrow, um, mm. and uh, I think it, I think it's going to. Having looked at the form table today and what seeing what Cambridge are capable of, it's not going to be an easy. I can see us setting out very similar to what we did against Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, but. Then again, we played really well at Sheffield Wednesday. We played well at Ipswich as well. Hmm. So who knows? The, the, that's the thing, though, with, the, with the how inconsistent we've been. Inconsistency is is not obviously we, it's not good for a for a promotion run. Hmm. But we don't know what we're going to get out of this side. Yeah. But it, so we can, so there is a chance that we can. Barnsley fans could actually go away and think, 
I'd really really? like, to get three points, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. We, haven't, we, haven't, we haven't thought about that for a bit at all. <laughs> so, no, definitely not. <clears throat> right, so like we've just been saying on about predicted, I've, I've done plays where I think, but we'll have a discuss about it. And uh, you've mentioned one about Kundi, and Andy's said, you know, you changed front two. So we'll, we'll just go through it then. Uh, so predicted starting 11. <sighs> Collins, it's going to be... I said that uh, I think Walton will just play, um, at, you know, in, in cup games kind of thing. Yeah, I agree. Right wing back, Jordan Williams. You know, do, do your guys agree with that? Williams at, at right wing back, keep it as is. Yeah. I think he's proved a lot of his wrong this season. I yeah. think he got yeah, a lot of flack, um, but yeah. I think he's he's played quite well uh, yeah. so far. So yeah, I, I, I think he's played well as well. He's, he's done right well as as Williams. Yeah. And he's also played at centre back and all uh, uh, for a bit, hasn't he? and as yeah. Uh, required. Yeah. Uh, Captain Mads is is going to be in bad and injuries and niggles. You know, I think he's uh, his mainstay at, at team. Kundi, like you were saying, there, Daniel. You know, um, we'll come on to other 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 one. We've got McCarthy. Will be at back three, and then wing back. It'd be Kitchen. So would you? Obviously, you change Kundi. What what would you change in, in style? Would you have Kitchen go back into centre, and if Nicky Cadden's available? Now you see that's quite a difficult one. In, that's quite a difficult one to consider because when you have a look at Kitchen, mm. would you really want to be taking him out after he's found his feet, mm. or he looks like he's doing well? So it's a difficult one. Yeah. I don't think we've got any at the, at this moment with with the amount of defender. I mean, here's one for you, ben Daniel. Have we got it, have we it, got any up? Have we got options apart from Cundy? It, it, here's one for you. What about Ben Daniel? If Seth Tom Edwards is available at right wing back, which has been brought in from Stoke and put Williams in instead of Cundy, could you see that happening? Mm. With the with how much confidence Jordan Williams has, I would say. Yes, that would be a more viable option. Yeah, mm. I think I think the thing is with Kundi is that he's trying to find his. Uh... Just give me two seconds. Am I all right to pause, gents? Yeah, of course you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Andy, what about yeah. uh, what about that then? Would you have that? You know, a change it back for you? Um, I'll be honest. I think I'd keep it as it is. Um, I, I will think about that, Edwards. I don't know. Is it him who can play more or less across it... back anyway? Yeah, um, I think he's more predominant uh, on right back. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you know, so you know what? I think I think I'd keep it as it is. Me, um, mm. I, I mean, again, kitchen, um, I think he's been brilliant. Me, um, where he's been playing, starts coming to uh, his uh, own now. Yeah, yeah he, he's been on some night runs as well, hasn't he? Is mm. uh, yeah, is I'd leave it. Me, I'd be. It, I ain't got a problem with uh, that line. Um, I, I personally would leave that because that's like the same line against, uh, well, against overnight against Port Vale. So I'm, yeah. I'm wondering, me, if it's like, I think we kitchen where he is, fist goal, and his like confidence is there. I wonder if he's like getting a bit of understanding of his yeah. position and role. Uh, but I, te- I take Daniel's point on Kunde, but he's still trying to learn his, you know, learn it. And he's been sometimes been found wanting all a bit short of pace, I think. You know, uh, and again, what would you want to upset? It's an Arden, but it's a nice choice mm. to have. Thinking, you know, when, well, we're coming to midfield like right now, and options there. Uh, Matty Wolf, see, I don't know if Benson will be involved in this because he won't even on bench overnight. Worry, Benson. I think he so, might be injured, and he's, there were rumours that he were injured. Yeah, so I've gone from midfield, uh, Matty Wolf, <clears throat> Luke Thomas, and Luke Connell. As the three, would you would you change? Well, I mean, Kane. would you see Kane coming in for Wolf? Yeah, yeah, I would. Could you see that? Yeah, I, I'd said go about for sixty Kane. minutes, isn't he? Yeah, and yeah. he's only going to get fit by playing, isn't he? Really? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have Kane. Um, then if we need to um, sub him off for Wolf, but that, that's what I'd do anyway. Yeah, Daniel would. You- I would, I would just ask it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to. De- uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with Andy's point. He's only going to get fit if you, if we play him, and and that's, and if we want to get the best out of Herbie Kane this season, we're going to have to keep him fit because 
I mean, a lot of the hype around last season was that he was uh, a lot of the hype around it, like early on in the season, was that he was going to be one of our one of our one of the key players. Mm. Can I just ask it just before we move on? I, I mean, I, I saw obviously he played against Port Vale. What did what did you think of him at Port Vale when he, when he played against Port Vale? Um, oh, or were it a bit difficult to tell? It became. Yeah. I thought he had a decent game, to be fair. I mean, bearing in mind it's it's coming back from injury and this sort of a, is his speed up? I think he, he was getting stuck in, he was spraying ball out, he was trying to, you know, Luca Connell was trying to drop and get the ball for it. It became more or less in centre and they were allowing Thomas to like express it and go for it, link up. So I think what Herbie came with doing in midfield was try and hold it together and try and boss it best he could. Mm. And I think when it, I think when he went off, we sent um, um, Wolf came on, and I think we sent to lose his bit of shape a bit. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, what can I say? That bit of know how, a way to go, um, way to get in position for that ball. Uh, you can tell that for me, I can tell that he's not 100%. You know, it's not it's not far from it, but I don't think it's hundred percent. So, like what Andy was saying, and what well, what you both said, really, he he's got to play to get up to match fitness and speed. You're not going to get that in under twenty three development behind closed door thing. And I could see him starting, but what I don't want to happen is like a Nicky Cadden is like rushing too much, and he has a setback, and then he goes back to square one. So, yeah, but I don't think I think Duff. Like now has learnt that, and like, yeah, do you know what? We're going to ease him in gradually, and that's why I think at Lincoln City had half an hour when he came off, and they were only going to play half an hour anyway. Uh, so it's easing him in. So, but yeah, I, I, yeah, having said that, Herbie Kane, I'd, I'd go with that. I'd go with that. Yeah, I think it'd make a difference. And I'd again, it's an hard, it's an hard choice because we're talking about this, and you possibly could have Benson. You know, it makes it's going to be a right headache, isn't it? Trying to keep all them happy. Plus Phillips, mm. he coming on loan. So oh, yeah. Josh Martin. Mm-hmm. So it's, a, it's an edit to have, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's a choice to mm-hmm. have, isn't it? Which is a nice yeah. choice. So yeah. are we agreed? Is it going to be Kane instead of Wolf then? I think so. Yeah. 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 Cool. So obviously front two, and I know Andy, you said that you know you'd want to change this, but I've gone for Devante Cole and Aitchison up top. Yeah. Um the one that change? I would change is Aitchison. Um okay. I mean, yeah, it, it, I think he's a worker, um, runs forever, but surely that's minimum, really. Do you think, <laughs> do you know, what we, do you, that's my, what take we on, my take on Aitchison, and it's no disrespect to him, I don't think he's an out-and-out out goal scorer, but he no. had a season-long loan at Forest Screen, and he played him just behind his, his attackers, yeah. a bit like what Thomas is doing, and he got some rave reviews, and, I'm, and I think he's more suited to that role there was a threat going forward and trying to link up rather than be up front alongside bit, Cole. Like where Thomas is now or something. Mm. Or, mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, but I, I think, I personally think he needs um, starting up bench me. I think, yeah. I, I do think he's lacking a little bit of confidence at the minute. I'd like to see either Norwood or Tedic uh, start up front with Cole uh, tomorrow. Do you um, think Teddy should be too similar to Cole in the style of play? I'll be honest, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not really seeing him that much anyway. Hmm. Um, so again, um, we don't know until we play him, do we? And surely hmm. they got him just to sit up bench. Hmm. Um, I mean, I, I'm surprised he didn't come on against Port Vale, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, that, that's my change up top. Had to Asians and um, and. Probably swapping with either Norwood or uh, that Ted Hitch, mate. So you, you change it. And Daniel, top two, would you keep as is or would you also alter it as well? <coughs> I think, I, in all honesty, I think I'd stick. Um, I can buy the arguments of giving Ted Hitch a chance over Hitchison, but I. Maybe it's complete blind faith. And I, I we, we discussed this on his little last time we were on, or on Neil. I, re- I reckon that I reckon we've got a good player in Hitchson. Mm. I think one. I think he is going to find his feet, and we are going to see the best of him more we play him and more the confidence and, and let him get a bit more confidence on it. <laughs> it could work the other way. It could end up where he's going through a bit of a dry spell and he ain't got that con- and he could knock his confidence. 
But do you know why I see it, 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 it's difficult? It's very to, difficult. It's like a kind of chaplain where he's not a really out and out striker, but he's busy in and around area box. Yeah. yeah, one of them kind of players I see is that. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. And if do you see him, Ben Daniel, as in like a position that he's in now, or would you like to see him drop a bit deeper for that link up play? Do you think that'd be his his best position in what you see him as a player? Well, uh, Devante seems to be doing that job at the moment. Mm. And I never thought I'd say that about Devante Cole, but he is. Because I thought it was spectacular on Saturday. On Saturday, sorry, Tuesday. Games I see, thought it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, for pressing him and trying to hold up, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, as much... I mean... I, I think keep it... I, I think we keep it the way it... Because I, I just can't... There's not, I think there's Tedich there that could potentially. I know when he has come, when he has, I've seen brief spells of him, and there is a good player there, and I, I think he could be an asset for us. Hmm. I'm still not massively convinced, John James Norwood. Not massively convinced. I think he's. I think you can still. I don't think he's fit. I don't. Hmm. Th- I don't think you could probably get more than about fifty minutes out of him. Hmm. Um, if I'm honest, um, I think. I think Norwood has come on. Uh, it, it is, we've signed James Norwood to keep uh, to, for somebody to bring on after mm. after 55, 60 minutes. We we know what sort of player. I think we kind of know what sort of player James Norwood is. Um, again, I hope I'm wrong. I hope he does come on and he absolutely and he has a an amazing season. But I just can't see him as that number as as starting for us. Mm. In all honesty. A couple of seasons ago, it probably be a different Norwood, wouldn't it? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of like seasons ago, I think he would have been in there like a shot. Mm. But... Interesting. Uh, people what's watching, uh, leave your comments below. You know, you might agree, you might see something else and you want to change it about. So, score predictions, this is going to be a good one. So, Andy, <laughs> score prediction for tomorrow, mate. Um, I'm going to go for 2-1 to Reds. Two one Reds, a win. Daniel, um, I feel like pressure to go for a win now. Uh, <laughs> is it um, one one? But I, I, yeah, one one. I'd go for. Yeah, I, I was going to say two one because I know there's like goal. There's going to be goals in it. Um, but again, as an Achilles heel, is would be a bit clinical enough away. Uh, yeah, we did Sheffield Wednesday. If we play like we did against Sheffield Wednesday, yeah. But then I think if we don't and we play like Ipswich, I think we can also come back. Uh, that's going to be an interesting one. But I'm going to go 2-1, but I could also see it being a draw as well because I think there's going to be goals in it. It's going to be yeah. a tricky, tricky place to go as well. But I think that if we set off in right frame of mind, like we did against Sheffield Wednesday, right front fist whistle, I think we could take game to them. I think then we'll, you know, we'll probably see it. Um, but it will be interesting. It will be interesting. Um, I just want to thank Andy and thank Daniel for coming on. People, what's watching? Leave your comments below. Leave your score predictions. Leave your, you know, your team lineup. So would you change or would you replace? As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Andy, I appreciate your time checking out. Daniel, likewise, I appreciate you joining me, mate. I'll get you on. Uh, 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 more often in future, some good debates, some good uh, good talking points for you. Uh, that's what it's all about: opinions, isn't it? At the end of the day, um, and if we're all at the same opinion, it'd be a bit boring, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be much of yeah, a show, exactly. would it? Really? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, all then, what's going to be travelling down? Have a safe journey here and back. Uh, let's hope Barnes can come back with a win. One thing left to say: you Reds, you Reds. Cheers, Neil.